Hey, Todd Ehrlich with uh, my Block Talk series. Uh, this is where we just go over a little bit about the chair side CAD CAM blocks that are available to us and make fun of the marketing just a little bit and kind of clear up the air for some of the blocks because I know there's so many out there. And the reason why I even came up with this video series is because you know when you do searches and you look for our materials, the marketing can be hilarious to me and I'm I tend to be kind of a smart aleck and uh, anyway I'll go over some of that but let's go over some of the Zercad properties. Uh, Zercad is a uh, zirconia block it's made by Ivoclar Vivident uh, it has a huge range uh, it can be kind of confusing and it's because it's called let me go back it's called Emacs Zercad. I would say right then and there uh, that's problem with marketing because you get confused is it easy emacs or is it zirconia but you know they're obviously they're trying to capitalize on their success with emacs which they should but uh it makes it more confusing you know 3m does the same thing they they call all of their uh their great products almost the same line you don't know which one it is what ultimate product it is or scotch bond or whatever so uh companies definitely have a problem with that so Emacs Zircad. It's not Emacs. We know the lithium disilicate material. It's a zirconia. Uh, the physical properties: 850 to 1200 megapascal flexural strength. But it depends on what uh, colors you're going to use or what translucencies you're going to get. So that matters. Now, if you're going to do these chair side, you have to have a sintering furnace. And there's the, uh, you know, the Speedfire from Densply Serona. Uh, Ivoclar makes their new CS6 furnace, which is ridiculously fast for zirconia. It's just an awesome uh, machine now. We have to have the right materials to make this product go. Uh, you can bond them or uh, cement them. I, personally, my thought on this, if I'm doing zirconia, I want to cement it. I want to make the prep um, have good mechanical resistance or retention for them so I can cement it. I don't want to be bonding. And at 850 megapascal flexural strength, uh, you know, that's to the that's to the level for which humans can't even like crunch into. So we should be able to cement these. Uh, MO, LT, MT, MT, multi. Uh, I'll do a search here in a minute. We'll try to discover what those are. But the MO block is very opaque and probably not something you're going to do chair side. The LT block is something you will want to do chair side. That's at that 1200 megapascal flexural strength you see right here. Uh, probably something farther back in the mouth. But one thing that I love about Ivoclar's um, uh, consistency is shade. So if you put an LT Zercad next to an LT Emacs, their translucency and their optical properties may be a little bit off, but the shades will be very consistent if you're centering these properly. Uh, the MT block, which you see right here in this line, uh, I don't believe there's a block for it, but we want the MT Multi, and that's going to be in that 850 uh, megapascal flexural strength uh, range, and that has the gradation of translucency. Uh, about one millimeter of uh, clusal reduction. Now, you manufacturing people or sales reps, get off my back. I mean, there's all sorts of variances in this and you do this to us. So these are guidelines when it comes to uh, prep styles and obviously the physical properties can vary from one study to another study and who actually does the studies. Uh, indications, obviously crowns, uh, bridges, implant abutments, I would never do any veneers or anything with zir zirconia in general because we, we have too many other good materials that are intended for that and do a search for by refrigerants <laughs> i didn't say that very well by refrigerants it's a optical property of zirconia that gives it that mother of pearl look to it it's basically where a ray of light goes into the crystalline structure and it splits into two it's it's kind of a unique property for zirconias and it makes them look weird. So why would I want to do zirconia up front? I, I just don't get it. Why would I want to do something up front that gives this weird optical property where you have to stack feldspathic ceramic on top of it to make it look right? No, just use the right ceramics to begin with. So anyway, I digress. So we are going to do, what am I going to do now? I'm going to go do, uh, yep, I'm going to my laptop and we're going to do a Google search. So I just typed in Emacs Zercad and it's always best to, let's just start with Ivoclar Vivident webpage on this. 
Okay, so usually when you see a web page that has, you know, a framework, I mean, my goodness, look at that framework. Oh my gosh, that is ginormous. That is a lot of work right there, but it can do it. Uh, usually on a website where you see that uh, for doctors, if you're watching this, uh, we're probably in the lab world of things, but the materials are similar so we can um, at least see what they have to say about it. Okay, Emacs Zircad is, is the innovative and versatile zirconium oxide as uh, the material of choice for cases in which high mechanical stability, thin restoration walls, and natural looking aesthetics are the essence. I love marketing because isn't that the essence always? I mean, isn't it always too thin and we need high strength? And I, I love the fact that every marketing company it, or marketing department, they all do the same thing. We need high strength, high aesthetics. We need to come up with new words. All right, okay, so this is where it gets a little confusing because it talks about Emacs, IPS, Emacs, Zercad Prime. Prime is uh, Ivoclar Vividence lab version, 1200 megapascal flexural strength, and it's the gradation of translucency. It's a transition of a three Y to four, uh, five Y um, zirconia. And if you didn't know what I just said, I have other videos on that very thing, basically, a 5Y uh, TZP zirconia is more in the cuboidal range and it, it's basically more translucent. So they have a blend of the tetragonal and the cuboidal uh, zirconias to give it more of a, a gradation of translucency. Uh, obviously full contour crowns, three unit bridge, four unit, <laughs> this is the best. Okay, so prime, uh, three unit bridges, four unit or multiple unit bridges with maximum of two ponics. But why are you showing this picture? We've got like, I don't know how many Ponics are on there, but anyway, that's probably for their LT. Okay, let's get down to where the doctors, uh, that's the Zercad MT Multi. This is what you would use for in the chair side. Uh, <laughs> again, <laughs> I, I can't help but read stuff like this and chuckle. So I'll read the first sentence. IPS Emacs Zercad MT Multi, which is a mouthful in itself, just come up with a single name, is designed for the anterior and posterior region. Well, no kidding. We got the anterior region, we got the posterior region. It's all over the mouth. You can put it wherever you want, but they, they got to make a sentence about that. An optimized raw material mixture, <laughs> optimized. Well, we wouldn't want it to be unoptimized. We're going to optimize it, and it's going to be raw. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ivoclar, I'm just having fun. An optimized raw material mixture provides the material with uh, enhanced mechanical properties. Well, I hope they're enhanced. 850 megapascals, that's where I was talking about the, um, the strength of it. And again, 850 megapascals, flexural strength is like, like so good because of humans, we can't, it's hard to even crunch past that. The progression of shade, let me get over here, uh, and translucency maximize the appearance of monolithic crowns and bridges without necessitating the application of characterization and optim more optimization, lots of optimizing in this. Application of characterizations and optimizes the efficiency in the lab. Okay, so basically what that means is you're not having to take a very monolithic zirconia and then stack something translucent or press something more translucent to it. So it's all built in, basically. And that's true. I mean, it has a gradation. And I like multi, a Zircad Multi. I think it's one of the prettier uh, zirconias we have for chair side. Uh, the MT that you see here, that's, again, not chair side. I, I believe. I may be wrong on that. I think it just comes in a puck. Uh, the LT is definitely on the chair side. And again, that would be something you're going to use on second molars or something you need a lot of strength or maybe uh, the abutment. Oh, advantages. Let's see what advantages are. Mm -hmm. Is that for all of them or just that one? Yeah, I guess it's advantages for all of the different ones. Okay, here we go. This is part, again, this kills me. High strength and fracture toughness allow low wall thickness for even less invasive preparations than before. Right. That's why we do zirconia, that's obvious. Uh, and the, actually, I'm not gonna make fun of this. Uh, this is a good uh, uh, property to really look at when you're looking at zirconias. It's not just the flexural strength, because that's just where they, it's a biaxial flexural strength, where they just take a bar of it and they bend it till it breaks. But fracture toughness is where it's measured on how well it uh, keeps the fracture from 
propagating through the material. So uh, fracture toughness is really important when it comes to materials. Okay, let, let me go to another website. I'm getting long on this. Let's go down to another one. Uh, let's see. Um, let's go to Patterson Dental's uh, website. And again, I'm not here to promote any website or anything. It's just it's what came up on the Google search. We'll see what Patterson has to say about Emacs Zercad. We'll zoom in. Uh, okay, Zercad zirconium blocks for in lab uh, are homogeneous. I I cannot say that word homogeneously. I think that's how you say it. Shaded yttrium stabilized zirconium oxide blocks used for reproduction. Used for reproduction. That doesn't sound right. Refer. <laughs> I got to read this again. This isn't right. I'm going to show you. Uh, Use for reproduction indications. I'm not sure what that, that's trying to say, but it's made for dental restorations, not reproduction, that require high strength and highly aesthetic veneering result. See, it's always high strength, high, uh, high aesthetics. Medium opacity, high final strength, of greater than 900 megapascals. Well, we found out earlier it's 850 to 1200. High fracture toughness, which is good. And I want more info. Let's click on more info. Oh, here's more info. Okay, you can layer this, but again, doctors, we're probably not gonna get in the um, world of layering. I've done it plenty of times. Our materials are so good now, we don't really have to worry about layering when it comes to chair side stuff. This would be more lab stuff. Okay, that's kind of boring. Let's go to another website here. Oh, uh, caddent.de. Oh, these guys are in Germany. Okay, I'll just go to their website here. Oh, it comes right up to the lab site instructions for use. How exciting is this? I know it's so much fun, but I do read all the instructions. I think you should too. Let's scroll down. Product information. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, versatile, long-term success, wide range of indications. Yes. Uh, oh, we're talking about Emacs and that. Okay, Zercad. Here we go. So it comes in pucks. You see the prime again is uh, lab and uh, the uh, multi comes for the blocks and also the LT. But let's scroll down. I think there's a chart here somewhere. Okay, polychromatic. We got Zercad Prime. We got the multi. And I hate the charts like this because it always makes it look like one is better than the other. Uh, Zercad Prime is the highlight product in the portfolio, whereas if you do... Zercad Multi, it's not really the highlight, it's the secondary one. I know it's, no, Zercad uh, Multi is awesome. It's just that I just love how the marketing puts things together because they don't really know that they're shooting themselves in the foot. The Multi is awesome. It's not, Prime is the highlight product. It is stronger, obviously, because it says 1200 megapascal flexural strength right there. Sorry, I can't zoom in anymore in this PDF file. Uh, the next one is the fracture toughness. Uh, the prime is five, uh, 3.6 on the uh, multi, which is really good. And the prime comes in more shades. Uh, the multi doesn't come in as many shades. It says the disc, disc thickness um, and then the, uh, the block size. Okay, where else we got? Contraindications, obviously we don't wanna do contraindications. And we'll scroll down more. Okay, so now we're getting into some optical things. The uh, medium translucency, the low translucency, the medium opacity. Could it be more confusing than that? What's the difference between medium translucency and medium opacity? Well, I'm not sure, actually. Uh, it doesn't really matter because the medium translucency over here is not in block. It's just the, uh, the puck form. And MO blocks, we come down here. Um, we do get some blocks in that, but why would we want to do medium opacity? It, well, it's almost 1200 megapascals, so that's not bad. I guess we're doing multiple bridges or uh, multiple unit. Oh, it says that three unit and multi unit bridge frameworks with the maximum of two ponics. Okay, so if we're going to do a big, gigantic bridge, chair side, we're going to want to go the MO route, and it comes in a B40, B40L, B55. B55 is 65, so it can't do that size. Maybe in the prime mill, I'm not sure. I'd have to check that. Uh, but I think the 40L is about as big as it comes in CEREC. Uh, 
and the uh, when we're looking at the low translucency, that's the LT, which has a 1200 megapascal flexural strength. We've got the C17 and B45. I think we need to, I may be confused here. Uh, the C17 and the B45 are definitely in the CERIC size blocks. But anyway, uh, lots of ranges when it comes to Zercad. Let me get out of this and I'll show you a quick little bridge here. So this is the multi A2, this is the B45, that's what I was saying just a minute ago in the, um, uh, the size ranges. This is definitely uh, the CERIC world. When we played the CERIC video game, you know this uh, as well as I do. We can play our Pontic, you're really focused on the connector size and we want about nine square millimeters for that connector size. And then uh, we'll play CERIC, we'll mill this out. And, and, and if you haven't done this before, we have a gradation. Uh, if the curve of SP is really deep, it, it tends to float through that block and you can't really move the block or the restoration within the block very well. But if it's the curve of SP is pretty flat all the way across, you have the ability to move it, uh, much more in the translucent zone. But you get some gradation in it. And uh, you know, with the prime mill, you can probably mill this out pretty fast. Probably takes 18 minutes, something like that on the fast mode. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a multi-block uh, Zercad material, uh, polished only. Uh, you, you know, you get you can see the gradation from the trans uh, the translucent occlusal portion down into the cervical area. So they look they look pretty good. But again, the the problem with zirconias is that you have that birefringence, and so it kind of looks a little bit that mother of pearl. But it doesn't look too bad. And so this is basically. Mm -hmm one of the the best chair side uh zirconias that you can do the the problem with it is it just takes longer to center and so if you're going to get into this world of uh, zircad you definitely need to look at the cs6 uh, new furnace because um, it's much faster to center the material and you get really good aesthetics when it comes to this and again i if i can make one recommendation for you when it comes to the Zercad material, and the reason why you want to use it is because, well, high strength, but also the shade matching. When you look at an A3 or an A2, when you look at it with your eyes, you're going to go, yeah, that's about an A2, that's about an A3. I've just found in other uh, zirconias, when it comes to chair side, they can be a little bit off. And when I say a little bit, sometimes they're way off or very unique in shade. So my recommendations for Zercad is because of the shade and the aesthetics, and the strength, because we want high strength, high aesthetics. <laughs>